Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to see LoRa transmission. I got two LoRa modules connected to two ESP32 board. And this one supplied with the power bank. This one supplied with the laptop. This one connected to a potentiometer. It will produce different analog value and it transmits. And this one receives and it will come to the serial monitor. We can see the serial monitor values here. It's zero now. When I increase the potentiometer values, I'm going to increase it. Yeah, I'm going, I'm increasing it. Now I can see it's going up all the way up. Now I'm going to decrease it all the way down to zero again. Now it's zero again. Now I'm going to disassemble all the parts and I will show you what are the parts needed. I will show you the circuit diagram and we will do the Arduino code again and we will upload it again. We will run it again. The transmitter diagram is here coming from right to left. The first one is ground. Second one is VCC. We can connect to 3.3 volt or 5 volt. I connected to 3.3. Third one is AUX. We don't need to connect anywhere. Other one is TXD. That one we connect to RX2 to ESP332. Next one is RXD. That one we connect to TX2 of ESP32. M1 and M0 all connected to ground as well. For the potentiometer, the middle pin goes to pin number 4. One side goes to 3.3 volt, other side goes to ground. Now for the receiver part, we just remove the potentiometer. That's it. Uh, item we need for this project. Of course, we need the LoRa module. This one. We need two of them. We need two ESP32 modules. We need two breadboards. I like this one. This is enough for me. We need one uh, 10K potentiometer. For the long distance testing, we need antennas. We need two of them. We need few jumper wires. I use this one and also I use this small this small jumper wires. Before we see the code, go to file preferences and click this button and make sure you have this line, this is for ESP32 Boards Manager. Just type this one or I have provided this one in the description. Just copy and paste it. Click OK. Click OK. Now go to Tools, Board and click Board Manager and type here this line ESP32 and uh, ESP32 by Espressive system make sure you install it there should be install button 
I already have. So you, if you don't have, click the install button and close. Now we see the code. Uh, we use the hardware serial to communicate to the LoRa module. And uh, we use pin number four of the ESP32 for the potentiometer input. And, and we define one integer va variable read well. And in the setup, begin the hardware serial, which have pin 16 and 17. That is the wire we connected in the diagram. In the main loop, we use the analog value of the knob for the pin number four and read and store it to this read well variable. And then we transmit using the print ln of the reading value and then delay 500 millisecond and start over. Now for the receiver module, again we use this hardware serial to communicate. Now we use the normal serial um, for the um, data receiver and to print in the serial monitor. The next one is same as the hardware serial begin pin 16 and 17. And in the loop, we use the serial at available. Whenever the data available in the hardware serial, it print out in the serial monitor. It reads and print out. Now, to upload the video, uh, upload the uh, sketch, we click tools, um, use the ESP32 Rover module, it's somewhere here, ESP32 Arduino, ESP32 Rover module, and choose the correct port. I have port 10, you might have a different port. Select the correct one and uh, click upload. I already uploaded both code. Now the code is uploaded. The first set is here. The second one is here, connected to serial monitor. We can see serial monitor values, it's zero. Now I removed the antenna I want to show you that for in-house testing, we don't need the antenna. These are so powerful, it can transmit and receive without antenna. Now, I'm going to increase the potentiometer. See, it's increasing. It's working even without antenna. Going all the way up. Now, I'm going to reduce it. Coming back, now it's zero again. In the video description, I have given this website address. There are some additional information and the diagrams are here and the code is here. You can copy and paste. When you go all the way down, there are some advanced setup you can read through. Thank you very much.